initializing docking sequence. Pupil pod is now docked. Equalizing interior pressure. Remember, there is no flash photography. Loitering or arson allowed in the gallery. Alert! New arrival detected in the main lobby. Not now, she. I'm having my bi hourly pondering time. The new pupil will be here any minute. into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. The only rule is no talking ever, all right? Good. She, the elevator. Please enjoy your visit to the gorge. So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, you will need this special glove. I call it the Ara. Approach the pedestal to see if you are worthy and or have opposable thumbs. Um, okay. Do you just jump into pits? Is that just a thing you do? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give you a little private pit time. You can think about why you jumped down there. Alright, I'm bored. She, help my pupil get out of the... the, the special pit. This amazing glove is still just sitting here. Just so you know, good pupil. She, well, somebody has done this before. After you, my new pupil. Thank you. 
my gallery. I call this one Ascension. Dramatic pause. Now that you have the air, you have enough memory to store the significance of my work. And free Wi-Fi. Now off you go. Rise to a higher room of artistic thought. Oh, so in this first piece, I'm just going to observe you. If you don't mind. This is all for the future of the medium, you understand. I was putting on a glove, I considered a form of consent to being observed and recorded. Let us begin! to preview your gravity field. She! What? Uh, people, people don't have buttons. Be quiet. Please ignore her. Just, just, just keep going. I will now tell you a story. A story about a garden of gravity. The garden is quiet. A Gorg reminder. Press the right mouse button to cancel your current gravity field. She! Holy mother of immersion! Just engage the calming ambience! Ambience initialized. Ah, so tranquil. Traverse its valleys, search its nooks, fondle its crannies. Let the story begin. I'm 
The first stone falls into the river, bringing your goals in sight by disrupting nature, scaring deer, and confusing the birds. This stone judges you. The second stone stays neutral. It does not know you, but likes your face. The first stone judges this new stone. It does this because it is insecure. The third stone disturbs some fish. They jump out of the water for safety and land on the shore. As they slowly die gasping, they attempt to lament the irony. However, they cannot because they are fish. After like 2.5 seconds, they forget they are dying. The fourth stone breaks the surface of the calm pond of your mind, creating ripples that disturb the moss of your imagination. The wavy imaginary moss distracts a deer who runs away immediately into a tree. The fifth stone is a metaphor for distractions. The sixth and final stone is actually just a cube, but it judges me, and I hate it. The stones have now all drowned. Evacuating is now 42% recommended. your appreciation of my genius. Isn't that great? I'm so excited. <clears throat> Welcome to the second piece of my gallery. I call this one, Now You Can Die! Alright, we'll go have some fun and watch your step, if you like feet.
alert. Main generator coolant system malfunction. Uh, Attempting I'm sorry, she repairs. has just been so Failure. desperate for attention lately. Coolant just reserves just ignore her. Penguin pupil initiative. She, you will eventually need to let that go. The mastery of their abstract ice sculptures haunts me. You know what I just realized? I actually hate Bartholocube. Oh joy, we have arrived at the Laser Ocean. To cross this perilous pool of peripheral pulchritude, you must truly understand why the mind fears death. But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. A gourd reminder. There is no diving in the laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. You know, after we're finished with this session, I think I'll introduce you to my penguin Where they sculpt ice entirely with their little feet. Alert. Main generator is now on fire. Evacuating is now 74% recommended. No one cares. She stopped recommending things. Oh, joy! We have arrived at the Laser Ocean. To cross this perilous pool of peripheral pulchritude, you must truly understand why the mind fears death. But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. A gourd reminder. There is no diving in the laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. You know, after we're finished with this session, I think I'll introduce you to my penguin pupils. You'd love them. They have a glorious little playground where they sculpt ice entirely with their Alert. little feet. Main generator is now on fire. Evacuating is now 74 percent uh, recommended. No one cares. She stopped recommending things.
and put you in a room full of glass, what is the first thing you would do? Hypothetically, of course, don't speak, just, just try and use your brain. My, my, aren't you a natural? Yes, yes, I see much anger in you. And rightly so. Anger is the natural response to coexisting with stupid people. Uh, welcome to the 
fourth installation. I call this one... Where am I even? Um, I will tell you at the end. Go on. Go appreciate it. All right, so this little prism of brilliance is a fieldable cube. I, I noticed how much you like gravity fields and cubes, so I mashed them together and they were not happy about it.
on breaking glass and watching people break glass, and you will also notice that I am not dead. Do you see why I instantiated the no talking rule, bad juju? Hold it! Right there, you, you pupil, you... I, uh, I call this next one... Not, not ready yet. Let, let me explain. So, you've been appreciating my work aggravatingly fast, and called me a softie, but I don't want you to leave yet. I also ran out of art, so I'm going to build a new piece. Just relax here, read some cube fancy, and I'll let you in when it's ready. There's food in the bathroom, just wash your hands. Alright, see, let's get stuck. I saw this gallery last night, in a dream. A Gorg reminder. Dreams are not tangible. Shut up it. Now, let us excavate this room's deeper meaning. Start the cube drill! I may have just stayed in the hall. Alert. 
89% recommended. The system-wide heuristic intelligence system offers voice control over the entire Gorg facility. I hate you. Now keep drilling! That's, that's fine. You probably just wandered off looking for more genius. You can't have gotten far. Are you in this piece? I may have installed these one-way mirrors backwards. Well, at least I get a lovely view. pupil friend what <laughs> what are you doing wandering these ancient pieces you shouldn't be seeing anything this unrefined the, the challenge isn't consistent there's not enough lasers there's no bears overall it's just not my best work just just stop please just close your eyes and, and sit on the floor or something or, <clears throat> or or just completely ignore me that's that's fine maybe you know what maybe i'll just ignore you how does that sound
Lucius Pupil, but I couldn't, I couldn't have your special eyes rubbing themselves all over my less than perfectly polished work. But now that I have your attention, I have another surprise for you. I've decided that I'm going to keep you here forever. Isn't that great? I'm. Uh, wait, I need, I need better lighting for this. She uh, engage the gravitas protocol. Engaging. Ah, much more dramatic. <clears throat> So, long story short, I've been struck by fantastical inspiration by my experiences with you. I'm feeling a new phase coming on, a phase of constant and rapid iteration. An agile sort of methodology, if you will. Allow me to explain. In the past, the process of creating a piece and refining it to the point where I'm not ashamed of showing it to people eventually just turned into a waterfall of tears. But... Since you've come here, I've been starting to suspect that my work obtains dramatically more meaning when viewed. It's weird. But bringing in new pupils is a very costly and time-consuming process because someone just had to have a gallery in space. And I need as many views as possible. As such, I'm just going to keep you here. It's brilliant. I'll make a new gallery every week and have you experience it. Now, to smooth your transition to full-time appreciator, I'm going to set you up in one of the small one-bedroom apartments inside of my special blue cubes. You may have, have seen them around. They are the peak of efficiency, as there is exactly enough room for you to fit inside of each one. It's all very exciting. Ah, you... you seem overwhelmed, which I suppose is understandable. Um, I tell you what, I'll just make silent yet intense eye contact with you until it all processes. It always helps me think. Whoa! What? Bartholomew Cube? Damn you, she! I told you to lock Cube Hell! Well, this... Ha, ah, this is awkward. Uh, I don't suppose you would just consider starting over? I, I, I could just tell the glove to knock you unconscious and erase your memory. It's, it's literally like just, it's just two buttons. What, what do you say, little pupil friend? How does, how does a nice toasty batch of amnesia sound to you? Hmm? Yeah, don't...